Let me see. Test, test. Oh my God, Ryan. Hello and welcome back to Retrospectus. It has been a while. It has been quite a while. But yes, we're back to <laughs> Retrospectus, the show where we go back and replay old games from our childhood and compare them to what we remember with a twist to what we are now. Oh my god. This episode, we're going to be playing a game that has actually been widely uh, requested I know. since we started. Um, so we're going to be playing Metroid for the NES. Which came out in 1987. A lot of it was, for this one, was based on Ridley Scott's Alien movies. Which is why one of the actual bosses is named Ridley. Which I did not know until today. Oh yeah! It was a 2D platformer adventure where you went and explored and would come back to the same areas and like, like Zelda but 2D and this carried into the future Metroid games and also the Castlevania series and actually started a genre called uh, Metroidvania. Apparently though, the first Metroid takes place on an open-ended planet that just happens to have doors. Um, and elevators. And elevators. Planet Zeebs. You play as the, the first female protagonist hero of any video game, Samus Aran, mm -hmm. which you did not know until the end of the game because she removed her helmet and then turned out to be a girl. And Honestly, for that to happen, too, you had to beat the game within three to five hours. Right, and the instruction manual actually continued to call Samus a he, so you didn't have any idea. But it made way for future protagonists like Chun-Li and uh, Lara Croft. Mm -hmm. The game also had a save feature in the Japanese cartridges like the Zelda games did, but that did not translate to the Western version, so here in the U.S. we had to use a password, kind of like you did with Mega Man. Yep, um, most NES games. Which, I, I don't know why that happened, but I kind of wish it did it because it was, it was a huge pain in the ass. And you lost like, that piece of paper. Uh, really, and like there was like 18 letters you would have to put in there. The Morph Ball, which is a pretty famous Metroid, um, a fact that Samus would become a ball and be able to go through small spaces was actually created because the NES could not handle a crawling animation. It's so true. they created the ball in order, you know, to give less of an animation for the NES to be able to actually show. So And it became a major part of Samus's like moveset for all the games yeah, going forward. So really ironic. We played this game as kids and what do you remember about it? Honestly, I, like, I I remember I remember thinking the ball was really weird uh, <laughs> when when you could turn into it. Honestly, I remember um, some of the later games more than this one. I'm just sad that the first game doesn't have the cute little like Metroid thing following you around, thinking it's your mother. I own this game both on the Wii and on the NES. I've never finished it. I can only get so far. Super Metroid was actually my favorite too. There was a video store down the street from us. Back when video stores existed. And they only had like six ourselves. games. I know, right? <laughs> they only had like six games that I could rent because it was like not like a major chain or anything. And Metroid was one of them, so I kept on renting it a lot. And then I didn't play it for like 15 years until like I was old enough to figure out what a ROM was. I just remember it being really weird, and I had no idea that Samus was a girl until I was an adult because obviously I never finished the game. What do you expect? Um, I, I'm, I'm learning the controls again is is uh, and that's another thing that carries over with pretty much any old NES games. I found Ridley. <laughs> oh my god. I, I just expect to not be able to get very far. It's just yeah. really hard. That's all I expect. We have shots. We do. Um, um, and we have to drink them really fast, mind you. This we're we're going at the mother brain shot. So basically, it's grenadine. Um, some sort of schnapps we're using peach tree, and it calls for Irish cream, which I thought I had, but I don't. So we're using uh, Godiva, which is a chocolate cream instead, and we'll see if it works. And uh, it's gonna be interesting. Oh yeah, there you go. Oh gross! So this is the Look mother brain. You can see it. You can see like a brain. Oh, and you have to drink it fast. And you have to drink it fast. All right, cheers. Cheers. The challenge is Metroid. The power is Nintendo. Defend the planet Zephus against the evil Mother Brain. It's survival or destruction. Do battle or die. Metroid only from Nintendo. So. All right. Now shoot these things. What? <laughs> <laughs> now your volume's in the way. That's good. Okay. Oh my God. <laughs> what are you doing, dude? I like how the doors are bubbles. The pop. I, I like how it's like this planet. Is it like an underground planet? 
Wait. I don't know. It's like she like fell into a crater. <laughs> it's like this looks good. Up or down? Um, down was. You can't go I down. I was gonna say down was <laughs> a dead end. I need the thanks. You That's, shot we, that way over there. Well, Why whatever. would you even do that? Ah, ah, I was gonna try and get it. Okay, wait till it gets there. I, okay, go. got it. There we go. All so. right, the stupid flea things. They look like fleas, or the things from Space Invaders. <laughs> I was impressed for a bit. And I know, I was doing really well, and then I like fell into fucking quicksand. Right. Dangerous quicksand of space. I don't know what it like if it's goo or something. <laughs> In order to <laughs> She's like looks get at me and is like, I'm done. Oh! Where am I? Where <laughs> Kind of glitched out. How about a jump? Alright, you know? <laughs> the game is punishing for that. <laughs> yeah, so yeah we here. need the missiles this way. No, we needed the missiles to go uh, this way. We have the missiles. No, we don't. No, we don't. We had an energy key. I'm just like shooting nothing. I'm like, if I just keep let on me, shooting, let me just I'll shoot hit the something. Wall. Okay, so this. We had to go back, remember? Uh, we had to go back. To ow! The <laughs> what an asshole. Well, you landed right on top of its head. And all, if you well, notice, guess, all the Nintendo games, yeah, the guys had like, you do this every time. And, and you're just, you're just going to die. Where am I? You're right there. Just, there okay. you are. You're up. No, I'm not. Oh my god. You are. <laughs> Jesse, you're proud of me. Wow. <laughs> okay. Go on down, fall of recording with friends. <laughs> Where am I? <laughs> <laughs> I just really got off into that point. And I felt like quick standing could get out. Alright, anyways, okay. We're gonna well, tweet about this for a second, because all of Twitter needs to know. Here we are. <laughs> Ryan, you killed me and now nothing is giving us help. Sorry. I love how I'm still at only at <laughs> what, what just happened? happened? Fine. Ah, where did you come from? Wait. This is slightly familiar. Okay, see, why didn't you disappear when you went in the quicksand and I did? Because it likes me better. Oh god. Oh god. You're like right. the master of chaos. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, we're just gonna do this the old fashioned Mario way. Just okay, we're just gonna, again. Make a run for up. Oh, didn't make it. I think that we cannot remember how, how we got to that anywhere elevator. in this game. We like, I think we we must have like glitched the game out and it's like warped we us to a different part oh of the game. Oh my god, we did not do we should have just watched the whole thing and figure out where it we went. <laughs> Your spirit. Uh, ah Oh my god, it's gonna blow up! <laughs> oh shit, I forgot I did that. Okay. Well, yeah. That guy's gone. That gave you twenty. Ooh. Look at that. Alright, so. And this is what you did last time. <laughs> oh my god. I just never learned. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well then. <laughs> what? Oh what is happening? Jess, you're just so angry at me. I am so mad! Health, health, health. Yeah. <laughs> When you get up there, punch it in the face. Okay. <laughs> what the fuck is that? What is that? What is that? You can't. You do. <gasps> it goes oh! further! Okay, wait, so there's a trick there. Uh, well, this is where you get stuck and die. Nope. Oh. Just gotta. <clears throat> you just like jumped on that. That was kind of brilliant. Okay, we were definitely doing the whole game backward before. What the fuck? So that was, uh... That was interesting. <laughs> Look, we got three power-ups. I was impressed. I was actually so. not expecting to get as far as we did. Yeah. At all. Because, like, that was, I mean... Yeah. It doesn't really tell you where to go, so you go to higher level areas without even realizing you shouldn't be there well, yet. Well, like, we couldn't even find that other place that the was, elevator. like, the elevator. I and mean, we finally found, found a different one. Like, how was this game for you since you last oh, played it as a kid? Oh, God. You know, I, I think... I. I think when I was a kid it seemed easier because I was used to the NES games 
not really being coherent or giving out hints and this time it was just I kind of I wanted to be able to get places and, and we weren't you, getting places. I know you can't find it. <laughs> I always turn it off because like I can only get so far and I appreciate how weird and innovative it was for its time and I really really do but it's so frustrating. I forgot that you cannot shoot when you're in the more fall form and that gets really obnoxious really fast. Yeah and can't um, shoot down. Yep. <laughs> At all. Would you play this game again, like, as an adult? Um, I mean, if I had it, I'd play it. I don't know if I'd play it frequently. Um, but I mean, if it were there and I was feeling like, eh, I might want to try this game. Honestly, I'd probably play Super Metroid. If she had before. a couple, like, uh, uh, beers first. It, maybe. It's not my favorite Metroid game. Overall, it's a good game. It was a good game for its time. Um, and I feel like the newer games expanded on it and made it better. Thank you for watching this episode yes. of Retrospectives. Uh, this was requested by a few people for us to play. Uh, if you have any games you want us to play, it doesn't need to be NES. It can be any nostalgic game from, like, the Atari to, like, the N64, because I guess that counts as yeah. nostalgic now. Um, yeah. And uh, we'll, we will absolutely play. We were just talking about playing Tiger Games. Yep. Uh, I will collect I, Tiger Games for us to play if that's what you want to see us do. I hate those. But leave your comments below. Give us a like. Uh, follow us on Facebook and Twitter and uh, Tumblr and go to our website, all under Atomic Blue Productions. And, you know, give us a like. Yeah. Tell us what you want. And for those of you who are just popping in now, we that's do mine. customized shots. Sorry. Here, we'll switch then. This one we are doing the mother brain. Mother brain. Yeah. But you have to drink it fast before it curdles. Yep. See now they're all wearing stripes. Yeah, this is this is what we couldn't do it before because there's gonna be people out there like he's right. I know, there. right? They'll be screaming at you too. We'll be like, listen, you can come come YouTube, can you see him at all on this map? Like what is this bullshit? Is that him? And it just generated wrong? Oh my god, is it? Wait, I didn't, I didn't <laughs> see that! I was waiting at the guy You're above right. him.